Hello CrabCon and welcome to the video that I know you all have been waiting for. Today I am so excited, so honored that I get to share with you the location of next year's CrabCon and our host hotel for rooms, activities, and the conference all in this video. So without further ado, I am so excited and elated to share that CrabCon 2025 will be in-person, hybrid. So if you want to watch from home, you are more than welcome to do so. And if you want to join all of the fun, join me, Mary, Stacy, and everyone else that's going to be joining in CrabCon, you can also make your way to Blacksburg, Virginia. That's right, we are heading back to Blacksburg, Virginia, which is where CrabCon 2023 was held. And it's such a beautiful area. There is absolutely so much to do. So if you want to do even more things than CrabCon, you absolutely can. And now I'm going to share with you some very, very exciting details about the host hotel. CrabCon 2025, as I mentioned, is going to be hybrid, which means you can go in person and CrabCon 2025 will take place from July 11th through July 13th. So that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this year's event is going to be hosted at a brand new, beautiful, spectacular location called the Mountain Lake Lodge. And I'm going to share a ton of details in this video for you. Uh, some information about the room, some information about pricing, and of course, what you guys all have been dying to know, when can you book? Coming soon. The Mountain Lake Lodge is set in the middle of a 2,600 acre nature preserve. Surrounded by the Appalachian Mountains, rustic and historic Mountain Lake Lodge is the ultimate retreat. Breathe in crisp, fresh air, dine on gourmet fare, and build fun memories with fun indoor and outdoor activities. We offer a variety of accommodations from rustic cabins and cozy cottages to lodging in our historic Mainstone Lodge. Expansive meeting and event venues, which we'll be using for CrabCon 2025 and other business events, arrive to an unhurried pace and enjoy adventure and comfort in the heart of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains. We have secured so many different room types at the Mountain Lake Lodge that if I sat here and talked to you today about every single room that was available, we would be here all day long. So my goal for the video is to highlight a couple of the different room options that we will have available, talk to you a little bit about the best way uh, that you can coordinate with other people to potentially find roommates, save a little bit of money, and then eventually talk about how you book and when you're going to book. So um, I do have some talking points here. So if you see me looking away, that's why I wish I could memorize all this information, but that's definitely not going to happen. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, some of the features of the Mountain Lake Lodge is that it's on a 2,600 acre property. So some of the rooms are going to be a little bit further away. And the first room type that we're going to talk about is our set of rooms in the, what they call the Blueberry Ridge. And these are gonna be more like suite rooms for you. And what I would recommend here is if you're looking to book a bigger room, maybe split it with some people, this would probably be a really good option for you. Um, so they have uh, one bedroom homes, two bedroom homes, and a three bedroom home as well. In those two and three bedrooms, they have a room with a king bed, a room with two queen beds, and then there's another room with a sleeper sofa on it. Um, so however you're gonna be most comfortable uh, splitting that up, but I believe it has a maximum of six guests in the three bedroom, four in the two, uh, but definitely work that out with the hotel when you're, when you're calling to book and let them know how many people are going to be in the room. Uh, these ones are also going to be a little bit further away from the main activities. So um, if you don't want to do a lot of walking or if you're not comfortable doing a lot of walking back and forth to the event, especially in July, it is going to be really, really warm out. This may not be the room type for you. But uh, as I mentioned, if you are booking with several people and you want to save money, this could be a really good option for you. Um, in the Mainstone Lodge, I think this is where most people will find to be most comfortable. They're going to have the one queen rooms, the two queen rooms, um, so you can definitely uh, fit a couple of people in these rooms. They'll have some family suites, some junior suites um, as well. Um, these ones in the main lodge do not have TVs and they do not have AC. So if that is going to be important to you in your hotel room, these are probably not going to be the room for you. Now, uh, what's really nice is that these rooms are absolutely beautiful. They have really thick stone walls um, and it's also up in the uh, Virginia mountains. So even in the heat of summer, these rooms do stay quite cool and you're going to be, for the most part, very comfortable. But if you're somebody who likes to enjoy a little bit of TV before bed, or if you like the sound of the air conditioning, this is probably not going to be the room for you. Um, 
And then this is also the only part of the hotel in the main stay, uh, in the main stone lodge where you are not allowed to bring pets. So if you are traveling with, you know, dogs or cats, etc., you would not be able to bring those uh, animals with you in these rooms. So uh, these are going to be just for your human companions only. Uh, the the dogs and uh, they can visit the main stone lodge. They just they just can't room in there. Um, one of my favorite options are going to be the historic cottages. Um, so. I'm going to give you the room t names here, and I think what's best is if you maybe you go on the website and do a little bit of research what might be good for you. Um, so we have the Lake Cottage, the Chesterfield Cottage, the Carolina Cottage, Pembroke Cottage, Roanoke Cottage, um, and these are really close to the main lodge. So if you want to be close to the action but not, you know, a completely attached to it, these are going to be a really good option. They are also, they have some really, really beautiful views, and like, we also got some really good, good deals on these. I think these are going to be some of the very first to go because they're absolutely phenomenal views. Um, and then I think the most, the newest uh, room type that we're going to have is are in the Chestnut Lodge. And these are going to be with private balconies. They do have cable TV. They have a wood burning fireplace place. I don't think you're probably going to need that in the middle of July, but hey, it's an option. I don't judge it. You do you. Um, they all have mini fridge, microwave, seating and living area. Um, and they have, yeah, just a really, really good deal for the price. Um, so without further ado, I think that's kind of like the, the general room, uh, availability that we are going to have. We will have a very limited number of rooms. This is a very popular resort for guests in the area. So we have secured a certain number of rooms, but if you are for sure attending CrabCon 2025 in person and you want to stay at the host hotel, my recommendation is to book as quickly as possible. So you're asking when are bookings open? So bookings will be opening very, very soon. Uh, stay tuned to the CrabCon uh, Facebook page. That's where Mary, myself, or Stacy uh, will make some type of announcement. Once you are able to book, we'll give you the code so that you get the discounted rate. Um, and yeah, you'll, you'll want to stay tuned because that is going to be opening very, very soon. Very exciting. Um, and let's talk about cost. So what's really, really nice with the hotel is that they have given us basically one rate uh, for all of the rooms that I just mentioned, regardless of the room type that you're booking. Now, uh, that means if you're booking one of those two bedroom suites, uh, it's going to be the same price as a one queen room. I think what's going to be really important to remember is one, be respectful of other people who are joining CrabCon who may be bringing larger families or may want to room with a lot of friends to save some money because again, the rooms are going to cost the same regardless of the number of people that are in there. Um, and so the room cost is around $200 per night. It does vary just a little bit by maybe like 10 to $20 per night based on the available bedding in the room that you do choose. So when those bookings do open, you'll just want to coordinate that with the um, with the front desk when you give them a call. Uh, so yeah, but like I mentioned, it's going to be around $200 per night. And we have secured those rooms all the way from Thursday, uh, July 10th. So if you wanted to arrive a day early, you absolutely could. And those are going to be valid through Sunday, July 13th. Now, what's really nice with the hotel is that depending... So those rooms are set aside for us. Only we can book those rooms currently. Um, however, the, uh, the hotel has been super, super kind, and they're allowing us to use that discounted rate two days prior, which means that Tuesday and Wednesday, and then two days after, which means uh, Sunday night and Monday night, with that same rate. However, those rooms are not set aside. Those are going to be based on availability. So as long as that room is available for those dates, they will go ahead and give you that rate for those dates as well. So I think that was really, really nice of them. Um, so yeah, so we covered uh, location, Blacksburg, Virginia. How exciting is that? Love, love the area. Uh, if you guys can get up to Roanoke too, it's a beautiful historic area. I spent a couple of days there myself before CrabCon in 2023 and absolutely had an amazing time. Um, we covered the hotel, which is the Mountain Lake Lodge. It's absolutely beautiful. You guys are going to, I think you're just going to love it. it, it it's an absolutely fantastic space. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, it's just, it's so Virginia. That, that's how the best way I can describe it. It's very Virginia and you guys are going to absolutely love it. Uh, we covered some of the different room types. So I gave you some of the names. You can definitely do some research on the hotel website to see what would be the best room and bedding accommodation for you. Um, we talked about price and yeah, stay tuned to CrabCon's Facebook page. When that booking does officially open, we'll be the first to let you know. Um, and yeah, if you, I think the best way, I think I mentioned a little bit, but best way to save some money, because remember the rooms are about $200 per night. Um, if you get like two, three, four people in one of those rooms, you can lower your cost to like $50 a night. So, um, definitely talk in the CrabCon Facebook page, see if there's anybody, uh, looking for a roomie for the weekend. You can absolutely do that. 
Um, and yeah, and I think just let me know in the comments. I'll be keeping an eye on the comments to see if there's any questions. Um, feel free to reach out to me on DM, uh, on Facebook Messenger. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them as quickly as possible. You guys know I do a ton of traveling, hence the video coming from a hotel room, but I do try to get to them as quickly as possible. Um, you're also more than welcome to email me at contests at lycos.org. So that is contest at L-H-C-O-S dot O-R-G, and I'll respond to that as quickly as possible. But Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. I can't wait to be in Virginia in July and see you guys all in person once again. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing event. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys at CrabCon 2025.